And why not practice on a cripple, you know? That's the best way to practice right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to Victory Gaming, playing Kenshi. The Project Genesis World Overhaul version 6, with the Metalheads mod as well. Oh, god no! <laughs> oh man! So we ran into some skimmers, because they can like lay down in the sand, they kind of just look like little white sticks poking out. But luckily they are slow. Now on the other hand, I am also very slow. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do this trick where we run different directions, and I'm going to see who they're chasing. And okay, so Ben's in deep shit. He can only run 10. So Ben is going to drop the person he's carrying. Um, we need to lighten up Kumo. Oh, come on. They're out of rate for trading. For trading. They can't. Okay. Um, okay. Go, go, go. Run. They hit hard. He just almost knocked me out with one shot. Well, carrying him around is, you know, not really worth trying to get the bounty. It's going to get me killed. Okay. So we're just going to run, run, run. And he's going to start to slowly bleed out. Okay, Kumo. Just drop that. You need to not die. Okay. Just run over here. You run that way. You run that way. Okay, you can start looping back towards these guys. And then we're just going to meet this way. And what's this? We got another group. All right, a mercenary. That's okay, cool. We got even more people. Who's this? We got Crimson Rogues. Okay, so we're going to run them through the Merc guys over here. Hopefully, they attack. This guy is playing dead, which is wise. Come on, attack. Attack those guys. Leave me alone. Run away. They're still, they're still chasing me. Okay. And they're right by that guy, so I can't pick him up. And that armor, where'd it go? I need to go pick that back up. But they're still chasing me. Do these guys give up yet? They're still not giving up. Well, I at least want my chess piece. Okay, so they're attacking that guy. Yes, attack the skimmers. That was funny. The, the ragdoll effect made him... Get shot across my screen. Okay. Run this way. I can't tell. Okay, I think they gave up. Okay, now I just have one chasing me. They're fighting two of them. Or three, actually. These guys hit hard. They will hit for like 100. Oh. Okay, I'm still getting attacked. I need to have Ben get bandaged. And then Kumo... I'm not going to be able to get that, am I? We'll run around until these guys engage the other skimmers and save me. Just run straight. Straight away. Run, run, run. Okay, there's nothing over there. Just keep running. They're still chasing. These guys are having a bad day. A couple of them got knocked out, actually. Okay, they gave up. Medic. 
Kumo, run over here. Okay, I said I said medic. Yeah, well, the other guys do. Okay, Ben's gonna get his chest fixed, and now he's not gonna bleed to death. All right, everybody, meet up. We are now heading back. So see, any you know, you can just be running along in the desert, and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose. So this game is very, very fun in that aspect. You don't know what to expect. You can have you know three-way fights, four-way fights. Um, usually you just gotta kind of oh these guys are all getting knocked out. You kind of you know survive the chaos until you get stronger because you're always gonna be pretty weak. Okay, so they knocked out all these guys, but see, they don't eat them. Alright, we need to get our armor piece. And this bounty, we can go pick them up. And I think Kumo had the armor, so go grab that. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. No. Okay, chase these guys, chase these guys. Yeah, okay. Ben? God damn it. Okay, we can't. We can't get this guy. Okay, it's not worth it. We're going to spend too much time trying to grab that guy. Okay, run away. Run away. Alright, these guys... Okay, they're running at about my speed. Okay, we're just running a straight line. We should be fine. Actually, we could even probably lower our weight. Since Ben isn't carrying anything. Actually, just toss it up to Ben. Now we're not encumbered at all. There we go. So now we're running very fast. Okay, let's get out of here. Just keep running straight. Well, and as you can see, there's some more, more fighting. Um, what are these guys? Okay, rebel farmers. So there's a lot of these rebel farmer guys getting attacked by the skimmers. And the skimmers are going to win. Because they're giant bugs. Alright, let's keep going. See if we can get to the city today. Alright, we found a city called Shobatai. And we were very close to it. We just gotta avoid... These guys, they will try to kill us. The good thing is that it's nighttime, so we should be able to hide. Whoa, we're getting a lot of load lag. All right, let's keep going. We need to get to the city. At least we can stay by the walls on the outside until the flag wears off. What are these guys? Oh. They have bounties. I'm pretty sure they're like, you know, ex-slaves. The character's not wanted, but it says United Cities. That doesn't make sense. They are wanted by a local faction. I think they'll get upset if we follow them. But I think there's dialogue. We can get them to join us. So let's see. It looks like a female Sheck and a female Greenlander. Which is the humans. Let's see if they... Whoa. There's a lot of bugs coming. Uh-oh. Might have to... <laughs> might have to take off. Let's see. Where's the city? Okay, there's the city on the horizon. Oh, there's the bugs. They're coming right at us. Actually, we can do our sneaking and get our skill up. Do some sneak training. Because they are nearby, we will gain it very fast. Okay, they don't seem to be wanting to talk to us. Oh, okay. Ooh, what's this? We have United City Samurais fighting the skimmers. Okay. Oh, what was that? <laughs> There's something blowing in the wind. 
All right. We still have a good 80 hours on our slavery thing. So what are we going to do? We just need to stay out of dodge on these guys. We'll let, we'll let them leave and then loot the, the body. Okay, so these guys, I don't know if it's the mod or what, but normally they would say, you know, they would get nervous we're following them and either tell us they're going to attack us or join us. So let's get some food. These guys should have some meat. Yep, two meat. And they also have claws to sell. So we can take their claws. Okay, now that we're near a town, it doesn't really matter so much that we're encumbered. The yellow meat is, what is it called? It's called foul raw meat. It's really not good for us, and you can't cook it. So we're not going to mess with it. It's worth nothing. So we're just going to grab all the good meat and claws to sell. And doing that makes it so they go from dying to dead or from unconscious to dead. Because if you harvest their organs, they're not going to come back to life. All right. And finally, who should get this? They're kind of, you know, we don't want anybody. Oh, I accidentally took the meat. Why did I do that? Can we put it back in there? Yes, we can. <laughs> Okay, so what's this guy? Okay, we'll go ahead and grab this and this. And now we have meat to cook and claws to sell. And there's just a random guy. He's a merc. So we got to worry about slavers. We got to worry about the Holy Nations. Uh, I mean, not the Holy Nation. The United Cities patrols. Because we don't want them spotting that we are, in fact, escaped slaves. Well, everyone but Voralis. And he looks 1%, he looks 10%, 10% like a slave. So it's still a pretty high chance of being discovered. Um, I think slavers actually get a bonus to detecting that you're an ex-slave or an escape slave. Uh, these guys. Okay, manhunters are slavers. They're one type. And even if you're not a slave, usually one of them will get angry and say, hey, those guys look like slaves and chase after you and attack you. So, we want to avoid that. Okay, what's going on over here? Let's run over. Actually, let's, let's sneak over. We got... What is this guy? Oh, Crimson Rogue Elite. So those guys are kind of like uh, an assassin guild. Uh, looks like they they got pissed off at the rebel farmers. And the rebel farmers are going to try to take him down, but I don't think they're going to get him dead. They are not going to come close to killing this guy. This guy got knocked out. Looks like he has one of those robes on with the dodge bonus. What is he doing? He's bandaging himself? Okay, now he's patrolling. And the rest of the patrol over here, these uh, United Cities patrol, are taking out the rebel farmers. So those are probably guys that used to be, uh, you know, farming their lands until something happened. They got kicked out of their homelands. Maybe the whole nation invaded, and now they just roam the desert and attack random travelers. Okay, that looks like a good place to come loot over here, now that these guys are all knocked out. And the patrol is leaving the area. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can get some band-aids. Or anything else that's worth money to sell. This is worth 300 that's cool. Um, swords, eh, they're not really worth that much. So our goal now is to scavenge as much as possible, make money, uh, get, you know, gather some better gear, more people even to join us, pay, you know, it's usually like 3000 on average to hire a new guy. But as, you, as the one guy, he was like 6 k because he was good at, you know, medicine or whatever. 
So now, uh, what else can we do here? Get, I already looted that guy. Is that the guy I just checked? No. Eh, the sword's really not worth much. Okay, a couple guys over here. They don't have any bounties, it doesn't look like. Take your, well, he's mad. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack him. And shoot him before he gets up. Okay, here, he got, down you go! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, that worked. Okay, does anybody need a robe? Yeah, Ben. Ben, put on the robe. And we'll take the sword, too. Okay, what does this guy have? He's got, like, a little dagger thing. Maybe, maybe we should describe that, why not? And there's a guy here. Doesn't really have anything I want. And there's one more guy, looks like, over here. And I'm just checking to see if any of these guys had bounties. Doesn't look like it. Alright, I'll see what we got over here. This guy has a staff. Some regular clothes. Let's see, always nice to see a friendly face. Peace with you, equal. And are these guys... Okay, these are so high pilgrim guard. So high. I don't know what that is. But they seem to be friendly. Well, you know, that can always change. I'll just try not to piss them off. Uh, this guy has a sword and a band-aid and armor to sell. Okay, so let's just take this stuff. What are these guys? Sand ninjas! Okay. They are bad guys. They are attacking the Sohai. Alright. That's good. They should win, because there's only four uh, sand ninjas, and there's, what, six? This guy apparently decided his buddies aren't worth helping. <laughs> He's like, I don't see anything. So the Sand Ninjas hopefully will lose, and we're going to take their gear, because they have very nice gear. And they might even have some bounties. Excellent. They are down. Alright, let's get to looting here. Looks like these guys are done what they needed to do, and knocked everybody out. Except for, wait a minute, is this guy knocked out? It says crippled. Okay, so see how his leg is messed up to where it's negative 58? He can't stand. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to, let's see, well, first of all, we're going to turn off our range so we don't shoot our own guys. Turn off passive. And we're going to attack him. Because we need practice. And why not practice on a cripple, you know? That's the best way to practice right now. Because we can barely beat cripples with the skills we have. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so standard grade is blue. That's just below the high grade, which is green. Um, but above the shoddy grade. So we got some nice pants, nice ninja rags to wear, which help your ninja skills a lot. I know, it's got some bandages. We got a nice blade. We got caught stealing. That's very annoying. 2%. Sometimes it bugs. Let's see. Thievery 5. This is a, like a cheap way to raise your, your thieving. Yeah, see? He he is bugged. And if I just click... And actually, I can just click. This is another little trick you can do. You just right-click it over and over again. And actually put it back. And right-click it. And put it back. And my guy should have gained a ton of thievery. Yep, he's up to 28 now. So this happens sometimes, I don't know why. And you can just steal over and over and over again and get your skill very high. So why not? Let's do that real quick. Let's spend a few minutes to do that. Oh, I don't have room for that. Yeah, I'm going to spend a few minutes building up my thievery skill because, hey, why not? All right, I trained up my skill by doing that, and now I have 80 thievery. It's pretty cool. So now we're just going to take everything off. 
uh, no room. Well, we don't want that. We take a sword and we want his pants. And I think I have room now. Yes. It's still somehow letting me steal. Okay. So, is he waking up? Yeah. So he's waking up, but he's not gonna like, like, like what is about to happen to him. Ow, he punched me! That's not nice. Okay, so we got his stuff. Um, we're getting very fat with loot here. Let's grab everything off this guy. We need to make some space. And still two more guys to loot. We definitely need bags. Is this even worth taking? It's only worth 250. Um, I don't need to take these pants now. Is this faction? Uh oh. It looks like nin. It looks like sand ninja. So I'm probably just gonna have to sell this stuff because I don't want to look like a sand ninja. If I probably put this on, it'll probably make me look like one. Oh no, it doesn't. That's interesting. I thought I'd make you look like a sand ninja. Oh, okay. Just a stolen from my mistake. It has to have the other, like, faction tag. Okay, cool. So we can wear their armor, and we don't look like anything bad. We'll just swap out that as well. Um, we don't need to worry about sawing that. that. That's worth a couple hundred. We'll sell that. This is worth... Oops. This is worth 50. We'll toss it. Okay, so we, we got four pairs of pants that are from the Sand Ninjas. So we'll toss that. One last guy to loot. And then we're going to go do some selling. What the heck was that? That was weird. Ah! I don't want to pick that up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I think I know what happened. I think my guy... Or did I click something? Okay, I better keep an eye on my surrounding. I thought I paused it. Okay, so this dog is attacking me. It is part of the rebel farmers. Okay. All right, we just need to grab... One more thing. Do we even have room, though? This is one thing about games that can be kind of annoying, is, like, inventory management. Okay, that's still too much. I don't want to spend like, you know, an hour trying to sort through loot. That's why I try to stay, you know, light inventory and just grab shit I'm going to sell and just swap out stuff I upgrade. Um, okay, so this dog, I don't think I can really outrun it. So we're going to have to try to fight it. And my guys are terrible. Luckily, its stats aren't the greatest. Okay, so we're going to use our... Yeah, I guess we have a sword. Everybody has a sword now, right? Okay. Attack. Everybody attack. Ow. We got bit for 25. We got bit for 27. Ow, ow. Okay, Ben's getting mauled. I'm going to run away with him. And then come back. I don't want him focusing one guy. Okay, he's down. The doggy's down. Okay, we're going to take his meat. Take his skin. Bandage up. Alright, cool. We need to get close to the wall. And get in there and sell with the guys that don't look like slaves. Hey, you. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. It's a slave hunter. Okay, so he's going to say, you know, let me look at your face, blah, blah, blah. But if... I think we can just run off um, and get kind of far away from the... Is there even any more of them? There's only one more. So there's only two of them, and they're not very tough. Okay. So, okay, you want to fight me? Fine, I'll kill you. I hope. Okay, so the other slave hunter is now... 
running over there for some reason? Okay. Don't, don't knock me down. Come on, guys. It's one versus five. Get him. Get him. Yeah, my guys are just terrible. This guy's blocking, like, every hit. Oh, except for that one. Come on, we need to run away. Okay, back off, back off. Did we get, like, some leg damage on him? Okay, he's got a little bit of leg damage. There's still two more of these guys. They're, like, enslaving people, though, so... Alright, now, take him down. Come on, take him down. Just get him. Get him knocked down. Don't let him hit us. This is a Shek. He's got no armor, and he's got a stick. And five guys can't take him down. There we go. Just take his band-aids. I don't care about his junk. Okay, we need to move away. Don't attack anybody. Okay, let's, okay, let's medic up real quick. Get our wounds to stop bleeding. What is this? Oh my god, this never ends. Now we have starving vagrants that want to beat us up and take our food, I guess. Okay. That's not good. Okay, we're already, you know, kind of hurt. Um, there's three of them. Okay, if we run, we can possibly run to the city. Uh, mm, I don't know. Right, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, I hope you see what happens to my group if we make it to the city walls without getting taken out by these guys or you know maybe bad things are gonna happen i don't know don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already see you the next one bye